how to create a retargeting audience in Google ads. In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step and show you just how easy it is to create these audiences. If you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs icon and subscribe and let's go do this right now. So here we are in my Google ad account and I've gone straight to my audience manager. You find your audience manager by going to tools and settings, shared library, and then audience manager. And you'll land on something that looks just like this. So obviously I've already created a bunch of retargeting audiences based on YouTube views as well as website visits. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to show you how to create a really basic audience. So what you're going to do is you're going to stay here and you're going to hit on this plus icon and then you go to website visitors. Now you can really define these audiences as granular as you like uh, based on maybe like all website visitors or perhaps a specific page that somebody has landed on. So you've got to give your segment a name. So if let's pretend we're going to do all website visitors 30 days. So I like to type in what type of targeting that is in the name. So please just don't give it a generic name. Be as specific as possible because guaranteed you're going to forget what that audience is. So let's call it all website visitors and let's do 30 days and then our, we're going to choose what kind of segment we want. So we want visitors of a web page or there's visitors of a page with specific tags. I'm going to choose visitors of a web page. And the default one is here, website page visit in the past 30 days. Now, really, you can go as granular as, as you like, as I mentioned, or you can leave it just like this. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to leave it as is because I want all website visitors 30 days and I'm not going to include or exclude anyone from this. OK, so this particular setting is asking me to, for the pre-fill options. So obviously you're creating an audience at that moment. It won't retroactively populate, but it will with this particular setting. So it's saying here, do you want to pre-fill this segment with people who've matched the rules within the past 30 days? So if I was creating an audience of all website visitors at say 540 days, it will only backfill people who've satisfied gone to my website, but only in the past 30 days. So it's like your look back window is kind of the best way to uh, think about it. Or you can start from scratch. So you can say, no, I don't want to pre-fill for the past 30 days. I only want it to start from this day onwards. And then you can choose that particular option. I'm going to leave it as this one because, hey, why wouldn't I want it to backfill? And then you can also add a description if you want, which is really just for your benefit. OK, there's no other reason to add a description. It doesn't help your campaign at all. And then you click create segment. OK, I'm not going to create it because I've already got one already. So, uh, yeah, I would suggest creating a bunch of different audiences based on different segments that you'd like to target. So if I scroll up real quick here, I can refine this action. So I can say that the action must match every parameter below. So for example, if I want to create an audience of everyone who has landed on my retargeting challenge page, I can grab this URL and I can go here and I can say that the page URL either contains equals, starts with, ends with, and all these kinds of options. So I can say that the page URL contains, and I'll say slash challenge. The reason I prefer contains rather than equals is that sometimes a website might put a slash on the end or it won't be a slash. So equals can be a bit restrictive in terms of um, that option. But if you know exactly the URL that you want to target, then uh, by all means, uh, you could choose equals. OK, so uh, yeah, we can say that by um, equals challenge. And then I would change my audience name to be challenge visitors visitors 30 days. And I can scroll down here. I can refine it even more if I like. Um, but I would suggest not going too narrow because then the size of your audience is going to be quite small. Um, there's also the option to incorporate, uh, so add to an audience or refine it further, further which with the and or function. So you could say um, that I want people who have landed on this challenge page or and then I can say maybe landed on a different page, for example. So you, and then it would combine those two audiences. 
This really is limited by your imagination in terms of how you want to define these audiences. So just know that um, really often the hard part is thinking about what you want to create rather than the actual creation of that audience. I can also exclude people from this audience. So perhaps I want to exclude people who have already purchased. So I can say to exclude the people who have, and I just click refine action, page URL contains, and then I would put in the thank you page of the people who have purchased that challenge. And then I've got an audience of only the people who have landed on that challenge purchase page, but did not buy. Okay, so that's also uh, might be a really good option as well. So yeah, think about who you might like to exclude from some of your audiences. Once again, I'm going to choose the pre-fill option and then you can click create segment. So if I create segment, I'm going to scroll down to find this newly created audience. And then you can see all the way down here, challenge visitors 30 days and it says populating. Now this will, as it says here, if I want to hover over, it can take up to 72 hours, but at least you know it's been created and it will be a rolling audience. Means because it's a 30 day audience, it will roll and always look back to just the 30 days. Okay, so there you have it. That's how easy it is to create a retargeting audience on Google Ads. If you like this video, don't forget hit that thumbs icon and subscribe. And you can also check out our website, teachtraffic.com for all training courses as well. Thanks for watching.